Hello friends, let's start for the next topic of swapping. That is swapping process out. Basically when there is n number of processes in the main memory and there will be some of the process those are already in the queue. So now kernel wants to execute this process. At that time here the kernel will perform the swapping process out. It means the kernel swaps a process out if it needs the space in main memory and this may result in the following. Those are the first means when the system uh, sorry when the four will get executed by some process at that time it creates the child process which needs some more space in main memory and if the space is not available in main memory at that time the kernel is going to perform the swap out. The next one is the BRK system call which increase the size of the process. There will be the sum of the process while executing they needs to exec increase the size of the process. So at that time we need to perform the swap out operation. Now when a process becomes a larger by default the natural growth of its stack. Fourth one is when the kernel wants to free a space in memory for processes it had previously swapped out and should now swap in means if there is a there will be some of the processes those are already swapped out because of some reason and now kernel wants to execute the back for that reason they needs to swap in into the main memory and if the space is not available then obviously here we need to perform the swap out for the current processes in the main memory so these are the four reasons so now let's see the mapping process space onto the swap device. Now here we will have the layout of the virtual address space, virtual or physical address space. Basically there will be the three important things like text, data and stack for any process. Now basically this data are stored in a non-contiguous manner. It means there is no contiguous allocation for these things. Now while mapping to the swap device at that time all this data are going to be saved in a contiguous manner. If you look into the swap device, there is no block we have skipped. Now here text is started from the 0 and is ended at the 1k. It means it has taken the 2k. And now data has been started from the 64k and stack has been started from the 128k. Means the swap device is going to store 0, 1k, 64k, 65k, 66k and 128k addresses. Now, this is the details of this previous example. Now, the, let's see the expansion of swap memory. Now here adjusting the memory map for the expansion means when our process is executed the fourth system call at that time it creates a one more child process. Now here we need to expand the memory. So now if you look into the first diagram here, here we will have the text, data and stack. Now here it is empty but now here it is an expanded layout here we have added the new page at the 129k and it's a empty. So now here we need to add this into the swap device. If you compare these two diagrams now here it's a 690. Here after stack it's a empty. Now here we have added the one more page and we have stored this page into the swap device. That is nothing but the expansion swap. Now let's see the algorithm for the swapping process in. It means when we are going to swap in the process into the main memory. Basically the loop it is continuing that is the for loop all swap out processes that are ready to run. Basically this, this process should be ready to run. Pick the process swap out the longest means here we are going to swap out the longest process from the main memory. If no such process then sleep and then again go to the loop. And if enough room in the main memory for the process then swap process in from this ready to run. Now continue to use algorithm like if there will be some all process load into the main memory but those should not be the zombie or that is, those are not should be the lock in the main memory. 
if there is sleeping processes then choose a process such that the priority plus residence time is numerically highest it means here we need to check its priority and its residence time in the main memory then next one is else if it is the not sleeping then choose a process such that the residence time plus night is numerically highest basically here is nice is a system call which increase or decrease the process priority means here we are going to define the process priority now if chosen process not sleeping or residence requirement not satisfied then obviously here we need to sleep that process and even must be swap process in else swap out process then again here go to the loop now here we have seen the swap in and swap out algorithms to get the link or to get the uh, complete concept go for the previous video the name of the previous video is swapping allocation of swap space thank you